Hey everyone, Eric here. It's October 8th and I wanted to show you some great small but really important updates that Seesaw made. Now if you are using your browser, these updates will automatically show up for you. On iPads, other mobile devices, you'll need to update the app, so just be aware of that. Okay, so let's talk about the first one here. The first update has to do with pinning uh, posts. And this is important because a lot of times with distance learning, teachers want to pin a post and not have it move down the feed um, where kids cannot see it anymore. So great communication tool. So let me show you how pinning posts works. So let's say I am doing a, a post for my students. And often if I'm doing a, you know, a morning message or something like that, I'll do it right in the journal. Okay, so let's do a video here. Okay. Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Robinson here. Happy Thursday. Can you put down in the comments how you're feeling this morning? Okay, so let's just say I do something simple like that. Okay. And then I post it to our journal. Uh, now, everything else looks the same here. I can tag my students in it. Uh, pro tip here, if you add it to a folder, that's kind of nice too because then not only can my students find it a little bit easier, um, but also it's easy for me to go back and delete these. So like if I had a bunch of old morning meetings in our journal, I can click on the morning meeting folder and just be like, start deleting them, okay? So there it is. Okay, so it looks about like it did before. And by the way, with that folders thing, if you've never used folders before, right there, click on the folder and you can click on morning meetings and it will only show whatever's in that folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the three dots under the post and choose pin to top. So now you're going to see it says that it is pinned um, and it will stay at the top of their journal and not move. Now this is possible also in activities. So I know a lot of teachers are using Bitmoji classrooms or different ways that they um, have students you know, view all of the work for that day in their activities. So the nice thing here is that it will allow you to pin that to the top. So it works the same. You click on the three dots and then click pin. And it looks like I've already pinned this while I was playing with it. Okay, so you can see it's pinned to the top. Even if you post more activities after this, it will stay on the top. I love this one because this could be my directions for the day. Um, I could have a video in there, some, uh, some directions, some links and things like that and it will stay at the top the entire time so it's easy for students to find. All right, so that is the first update. Let's go to the second. The second update is all about how you view activities and how students view activities. So you'll notice everything in activities looks the same except for now there is a calendar. When I click on the calendar, it's gonna show activities by the date that they are posted or scheduled. So now I can view a certain date and I can view what I've assigned for that date. So as a teacher I love this because I can see everything in one place. I can see what I've um, uh, what I've assigned for each day. I can click on other days and it will show what I have scheduled as well uh, which is nice. Now let's see what that looks like for students. So for students, uh, here's my student view here and you can see everything looks the same for them except for now they have that calendar view as well. So there we go, they click on calendar and you can see they see those same activities but they do not see the scheduled activity. They can click there and they can respond to the activities right from in this tab which is just great. So if students were sick, uh, if they were out for a day or two, it's going to be easy for them to find old assignments and complete them. All right. So love that calendar view. One other way I would use this too as a teacher is um, I like to go back and delete or archive my old activities after a while because you know sometimes if they've been in the feed for a few weeks um, you know I just want to clean it up and get them out of there so if I know I only want these in there for a week I can go back to the previous week and then I can click on that day and I can go through and archive or delete those activities for that day so it's just a great organizational tool um, for teachers and students so love that update all right so let's talk about the final update and it's all about recovering lost work. Now this is a big issue because there are so many times with, with the amount of use on the internet right now 
uh, there are a lot of strange and funky behaviors going on um, with servers. So some people are trying to upload things and they stall. Um, things just don't post for whatever reason. Your, you know, Google Chrome crashes. There's just so many issues. So what Seesaw has done is they've made a way to recover your work. Here's how it works. So I'm going to do a fake post here. Okay, there we go. All right, and let's just pretend that I didn't get a chance to save it or put the check mark there and Chrome closes. Okay, and this would work with, with any browser, but just as an example here. So now I'm going to reopen my browser. There we go. And I'm going to log back into Seesaw. And you're going to see I get a message here that says that I have an unsaved drawing. I can keep on going where I left off just by clicking edit. And there it is. So I didn't lose it. This works for students as well. And it works uh, for um, posts. It works for activity responses. So what a nice feature there just to save you time and frustration. Um, also, I tried this out on an iPad. It worked fine on there too. Even if I swiped up and closed the Seesaw app, I was still able um, to open Seesaw and it gave me a message that says that you have unsaved work. Would you like to edit it? So love this feature as well. Uh, I'm going to save a lot of headaches. All right. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you um, and thanks for watching.